Hello, I present Axie Bearing Press, which is intended mainly for DT350 and Novatec hubs, but it should be able to handle with other brands as well. Press comes in a regular package box, has a very nice card with pictures, links to videos tutorials and list of equipment. If you like the video, leave a thumb up and subscription, it will help a lot in developing the channel. To make this movie more interesting, I will compare Axie with cheaper Blue Press, which I discussed earlier. And at the first glance you can see a big minus of gold one, because its box is made of weak cardboard and has flimsy feeling. Blue definitely wins in this category with its plastic case and well-fitted foam insert. Second easily noticeable difference are markings. In Axie there are only dimensions and names of adapters dedicated to specific hubs. In Blue One you can find sizes and numbers of specific bearing which is a big plus. Both presses have detachable handles which as you can see have even the same threads but Blue One has additional sleeve which makes it spin smoother. However, the biggest advantage of Gold One is threaded rod with a smaller diameter that allows it to be used with cheaper quick release hubs. Its next plus is a large adapter that fits to the hub body so you can use it safely to remove the axle. It also allows you to replace bearings in some free hubs, but it pushes both of them at the same time, which in my opinion it's not a great idea. And for other free half, you will still need to use a classic punch and a hammer. Another element that is not well designed is set dedicated to DT350, which as you can see does not cover all 6902 bearing, unlike very well fitted adapters from Blue Press. However, I have to admit that Axie has one more small advantage. It is equipped with interesting set for servicing classic free body and double-sided tool for old and EXP DT ratchets, but I did not check their quality and whether they would last longer than till first use. I'm also not sure if I understand Axie's operation correctly, maybe it has some more advantages than those that I discovered. If so, you can write it in a comment. To sum up this comparison, if I had to choose, I would took the blue version, which is much cheaper, better made, has nicer box and is easier to use. If only it had a rod the same diameter as gold and this large adapter for free hubs, it would be perfect, but now I have no other choice but to have two sets and mix them.
Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!